The Dogger family is under investigation again by the Arkansas Department of Human Services and things got so tense that the cops were called when the family refused to cooperate. Police in Arkansas showed up at the home of Jim Bob and Michelle Dogger after they reportedly refused to cooperate in a child welfare investigation. Thanks to a Freedom of Information Act request, we learned that a representative from the Washington County DHS called 911 at around 11 a.m. last week asking for police assistance when DHS was not allowed to see the minor they were concerned about. And I quote from the transcript of the call, we have an investigation and I guess they are not being cooperative. The DHS representative told the 911 dispatcher, we have to see the child to make sure the child is all right, so we just need police assistance. So the police was dispatched. They knock on the door, finally they got to see the kid. We didn't know the, the identity of the agent or the representative because DHS keeps those uh, files private, but it seems like it's not gonna never end for the dollars. <laughs> Well, they, they dominate the headlines. There's no question about that. Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar, they know how to spend, you know, somebody in their camp knows how to spend stories. They're, they're excellent PR people in building this brand mm -hmm. of, um, you know, I don't, I don't even know how to label their brand. Maybe we could label it just by her hair alone. Um, but child welfare services, they have a responsibility to minors to make sure that they're safe. You know, in light of what Josh Duggar did and how his family tried to conceal it and take care of it, um, they have a they have a responsibility to minor children to be able to step in and say, okay, is anybody okay? Is anybody being abused or molested? You know, uh, thank God that they were there and that they had the authority to do it. It looks like this family, though, they answer to a higher authority and are above the law. <laughs> Here's the thing. One of the saddest parts of the whole ordeal is that they keep going on TV. They keep giving these interviews not too long ago. The mom and the dad went on TV. They tried to... to kind of tell their side of the, the side of the story. The daughters, you know, the ones that were the victims, they came out and they tried to apologize over the, their brother. Uh, the reality is that they, at the time of those interviews, they didn't reveal that they were under different investigations by DHS mm -hmm. on these matters. And this is something that has been happening uh, since 2006, 2006. Mm -hmm. And the timeline, as we know, first, not even three weeks since this came to light, sponsors were you know, dropping them, advertisers would stop, you know, mm -hmm. advertising on their show, they were drop of Hulu, everything has been coming down and they are trying as hard as they can to hide the reality and my guess is that there's a lot of dirt still to uncover from this situation. Well, we know that they've covered the tracks of a molester. I mean, granted, it was their son, and given he was 14 or 15 years old at the time, I actually watched this one interview that, that they did, you know, explaining their actions and wanting to be able to get him help. You know, I really felt for them as parents. I, I can't say that I, I you know, I would have... I don't know what I would have done had I been in that situation and, and I had a son who was doing that. I'm not sure how I would well, react and I don't want to judge I, them. I think they, they, they did and there's a police record and that's how everything came to light mm -hmm. that they went and, uh, and, and uh, you know, faced mm -hmm. the situation with the authorities but the authorities decided not to do anything and that's where the story really, really holds foot. They where the fact that there was authorities that learned the situation and nothing was done and everything was kind of put under the rug Files were trying to be destroyed, actually ordered to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. the, the, the report, instead of being the original 100 plus pages, went down to only 33 pages mm -hmm. about the investigation. So there's a lot of things where you say, well, it's only because the dad was a politician at the time and was on elections at the time that everything got kind of put under the rug, or uh, there was really no grounds to press charges, which you know, this is the court of opinion, so that's something that's for someone else to decide. But the reality is that they keep, and the machine behind you, behind them, like you said, they try to keep them alive and they try to bring the show back to TV. I hope that we don't see any more of them. I mean, whether we do, whether we don't, thank God child welfare is on the case. They're making sure that their minor kids are okay. You know, they. I want to say this about the Duggars. They were able to strategically wait until that statue of limitations ran out before Josh Duggar could be prosecuted under these crimes. That's my understanding that he cannot be prosecuted now um, because the time has elapsed, enough time has gone by. They were able to conceal it and at least protect their son in that respect. Um, I don't, I don't know anything about this charge or what DHS was investigating. Maybe it was a follow-up. No, it's private. Uh, there's the thing. There's two ways that you get into an investigation by the DHS. One, it's a tip. 
someone An has inquiry. to call a hotline and say, we suspect that in this household there's being some child abuse or kids are being put on harm's way. Um, the, the doggers are saying, well, what really it's important in this situation is the fact that they're trying to demonize what a juvenile did. And the records of a juvenile were put out for the world to know. Mm -hmm. And brings the debate about those who have to register as sex offenders as juveniles, mm -hmm. and if they should have an instance where they could be forgiven, so that doesn't, something that they did as a juvenile where you're supposed not to be completely aware of right. what is wrong and what is right, then it shouldn't carry on throughout your life. This is completely different though. Right. This is molestation that, it's, that it has been documented and nothing was done about it. Mm -hmm. And so we think that that needs to be figured out, like you said, most likely there's no criminal consequences to the case, but at least, hopefully, help us out. Let's get them out of TV. Let us know what you think in the comments, and please subscribe to the Leap TV.